So getting ahead in research is critical in Stellaris and this video goes over how to set up your empire to produce massive research output. Now this is assuming you are playing a vanilla empire build, so I will try to cater this guide to that. Thing to note is that Gestalt empires get their research from spending energy credits and or minerals. They do not use consumer goods. However, the strategies here should work well for Gestalt empires too. Most research points come from research labs, at least in the beginning. You also get research points from research stations on systems. You can get them from anomalies as well, though I wouldn't advise doing that until you've finished expanding. So where do you place your research labs? Simply place them on your mining and generator worlds. However, you can always spam them on all your planets regardless of designation if you're behind. It is also good to designate tech worlds if you are doing automation. Automation has improved greatly since 3.9 was released. Most of your building slots should be for research labs if you really want to crank it up. The next thing you could do is start producing exotic gases. Then you can upgrade all those research labs. It costs one gas per upgrade. Make sure you get research upgrade technologies so you can do this. You could also take your science ships and auto-investigate anomalies and situations. Doing these often gives you a lump sum of research along with some resources. Late game you could get the Megastructures technology and research Science Nexus, then build and fully upgrade it. The 300 research is nice, but what you're really going for is its research speed bonus. Once you are done investigating anomalies, you can assign them to assist each of your planet's research. Obviously assist the planets that produce the highest amount of research points. So there is research speed and research points. You need both to research technologies effectively, so don't neglect research speed. You could take research speed and percentage technologies when you see them if you want to max out your research. Next thing you can do is enter research agreements with other empires if you're friendly and have extra influence gain. Now that is mostly what you can do if you're a vanilla empire. What if you have DLC? Well, you get a lot more options. First, you can get vassals and turn them into scholarums if you have the Overlord DLC. It takes a lot of influence but brings in a substantial amount of research depending on the size of the vassal. Next, you can build habitats and systems with research symbols, then build orbitals in the planets, moons, and asteroids with those symbols. So there are other things you can do to max out your research. First, you have research alternative bonuses from technology, leader traits, and civic points. These give another research option for each branch of research. So when you start the game, you choose one of three different technologies. With those bonuses, you instead get to choose one of four or more different technologies. Then there is species modification and trait choices. You can get intellect, erudite, and leader traits that increase research. As a vanilla empire, picking fanatic materialist, egalitarian, democracy, and getting meritocracy and technocracy will give massive bonuses to research as a vanilla empire. So a good thing to do if you are teching is to pick fanatic materialist for research speed. Pick egalitarian for more specialist output that increases research that way. Then for species pick intelligent and natural engineers for engineering research cause it is usually the best. Pick the scientist leader class ruler trait, start the game, fill your capital with research districts, then fill any empty building slots that are not already taken by something important to the designation, like say an energy grid or a generator world. You want to try and free up as many building slots on your worlds as you can. Get to making consumer goods right away. Start taking systems and build research stations on them. Take all the research percentage technologies as well as research speed, such as academic optimization, as well as tech like quantum theory. Start scooping up vassals and you can actually tax research from them so do that. 
Get into research agreements once you are not starved for influence. Start investigating anomalies once you are done expanding. Research the exotic gases technologies. Then start building gas refineries. Then start upgrading all those labs. Rule of thumb is to upgrade once for each one gain of exotic gases. So if you have a gain of 26, for example, you should be able to upgrade 26 labs once. So do that. If you have DLC, start building habitats. Build orbitals on research symbols. Then fill the orbital complex with research districts. Then get mega engineering and fully upgrade a science nexus. Then if you want, get a ring world for even more research districts. That covers most of it. I'll see you next time.